Get them as a set. Yeah, it's a two knife set, so I wanna I'm gonna not split the sheet out. I'm gonna make two sheets so I can sheet them separately. Ah right, okay. Is it, is it the one is it the one that they sold on the bus tracks there? I don't Hello everybody and welcome back to Simon Outdoors. Today I'm with the local bushcraft group, Great British Bushcraft Group Nottinghamshire and Derbyshire and the woodland that we all meet and it is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's uh, well it's three minutes to six at night in the afternoon and it is glorious still. Been doing a bit of archery. A couple on us brought catapults, one on us brought an air rifle and had a good time. I've been doing a carving of a face stick, which I'll go and get on the way back and show you. One of the other guys is carving a spoon. Well, more of a ladle. But it's just lovely to be outside. It's absolutely great. We're in a different spot in his woodland. Uh, so it's close to the cars and there's more wood around. Well, you look at twigs, but there is other pieces of wood around that we can use for fire. As back where we were, we depleted it a little bit. So I've been getting some more cramp balls. I've processed the horseshoe fungus, which we'll go and take a look at now. So I've got some fresh cramp balls in there, I've just dried out. A couple of old ones here. This horseshoe fungus, I've just boiled and then dried. And as I was drying, it caught fire. So I had to cut that piece off. Uh, so it's still rock hard. I'm not gonna beat it and make it soft because you can get a, uh, a spark to it. Well, I actually used my light at last time. My friend gave me another little tin for charring in. So in here, I've got some more horseshoe fungus that I've charred, and that does work. Now this is my bed. It'll get tidied up before bedtime. Now this is a stick I started at BI Bushcraft. I can get a better lighting. And this was actually going to be a moustache. Well, the moustache was actually going to be part of the bark. But then I decided I'll do it lower down. And then when I came to do a mouth, I just couldn't decide. You can probably see that I did a, a faint cut there, look, like a giant smile. I thought it just doesn't look right. So I left that as, the, as a mouth. I think it looks all right. I've just done another one, which is a bit more bizarre. So. <laughs> So that's the nose there, that's a bit of a tash, that's the mouth. But as I was digging that out with my little Mora knife, the tip, uh, I think it's a Mora 120, the tip broke off. Now somebody else said it happened to there as well. So I've just resharpened mine and uh, that's what I've been doing. So I'll go with catapult, like I said, which I've just chucked in my food bag. So. I've got treacle sponge pudding boiling away there in, in Billy Can. 
But uh, I've been showing people bow drill today, the fire piston from Bushcraft Tools, uh, chemical fire and ferro rod with magnesium etc. So and I've got some lavender incense sticks which I've, I've had earlier and I'll have again later just to relax. Of course I brought the gas stove because earlier on not everybody can fit round fire so just use that. But, uh, thank you very much for joining me on this weekend's camp. I know I didn't show any footage of me processing the horseshoe fungus but that would have been really lengthy and took up all my phone memory. So I'll say thank you very much for watching and bye for now.